All right, welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. Miles Upton here in New York. It's time now for Retirement Ready, brought to you by Fidelity. We're joined today by Charlie Nelson. He's the CEO of Retirement and Employee Benefits at Voya. And uh, Charlie, we were just chatting last time that we spoke. It was March the 6th. Uh, the world was just about to change. And you guys um, just published a survey on, on how Americans are feeling about um, their investments, their finances, certainly things. Uh, and, and unfortunately, um, things have gone downhill, I think, in the mindset of many people uh, quite quickly in the last six weeks or so. Yeah, that was. It, it just seems like yesterday in many ways. And yet uh, our survey of a little over a thousand people show that you know, most Americans are really believing to stay the course through all this volatility and all these challenging times. And, and we find that very, uh, uh, very good. Uh, it's the right course. We, we believe long term is just to stick with your plan. Well, and you know, it's interesting, Charlie, because I, I think it's, you know, the findings, you got 75% feel that COVID is a great threat to the economy. I think it's obvious what, what the threat is. But um, I guess as a financial advisor or someone in the, um, the, the benefits space, uh, does it hearten you to see that, you know, 88% um, of respondents believe that the best retirement strategy for them is to uh, essentially not panic? I mean, that's what financial education has been about in the last 20 years. And uh, it would seem that the message has gotten through to some extent. I think the message has gotten through. You know, uh, Miles, the path to retirement is, is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And so sometimes people think very short term and the volatility in the market, we did see a lot of activity, a lot of phone calls when the market was going up and down by a thousand plus points. Uh, but then it's really settled down back into kind of more of a, a more normal uh, type of volume as people realize Oh, okay, this is kind of a bit of a new normal. I got to stay with my plan. And they wanted to be reassured, uh, you know, that, all right, my 401k is still there. I've got it. I know what my plan is as I go forward. I do want to note uh, in the survey, uh, women, I guess, wanted to uh, stay the plan a little bit more than men. I thought that was, that was interesting in there. But as part of your plan, people have an end date on when they think they're going to stop working. And as we're seeing with the incredible amount of unemployment claims, we have huge, it's just an earthquake in the labor market right now. And for people that were close to retirement age, uh, I've been starting to hear people say, I don't know if I'm going to get another job. People might be retiring early. Are you guys starting to hear that on your end from, uh, from people? So, Two comments. First, on your uh, your comment on women, you know, during the the volatile time, it's interesting, Jen. We we too have saw that uh, you know men took were more active in their trading about twice as much, twice as frequent as women were during that time, um, during the more volatile stock market times here in the last month or two. Now, having said that, how we think about um, you know and what we're hearing from people about their retirement plans and the length of time. It really is more of a new definition of retirement. It's not the traditional definition that you might, maybe our parents had of, well, I get to a certain age and then I'm gonna go to stay home. The new definition of retirement is really staying engaged. And it's really thinking more about your stream of income for a number of your golden years. Um, even though you may be part-time work, you may be doing some other types of things. So I think the definition has changed and people are adapting to that. And then, Charlie, just kind of a, a, a logistical question, I guess. We've seen a lot of action coming out of uh, Congress in the last couple of weeks. There's been uh, emergency benefits sent to, to companies, sent to employees. Um, is there anything in the recent legislation that um, someone saving for retirement really needs to, to know, or is it enough to, to stay the course? I mean, are there um, benefits that are available uh, in terms of being able to change um, you know, some investments, or, or, is, or is the CARES Act um, you know, something that retire, you know, hopeful retirees, I guess, like myself, can kind of just note and say, all right, I'll just keep putting away money in my 401k and then move on with my life. Uh, so two things. Uh, first, um, there's a number of things that people should be aware of. First, uh, with respect to the CARES Act, uh, the CARES Act is not a general, all of the provisions are not generally available to all employees in every 401k. Uh, many of the provisions have to be adopted by the employer. So before they can be available to an individual, uh, like a higher loan amount or a corona, what's revert, referred to as a coronavirus distribution, special amounts that people can take out, 
Um, those types of things have to be authorized by the employer in their plan before an employee can do it. So I would encourage people to check with their employer first and then decide. And, and then secondly, if, if you have that need, really you need to take a step back and say, is it really the, the right thing for me to take a loan or a distribution or are there other sources uh, of assets? If, if I have a, a healthcare savings account, that may be a better way of, of spending or using your account to pay for healthcare expenses that you might have. There may be other sources of income. So the second item really is kind of seeking the advice of an advisor to help guide you through and think somewhat, help you think through maybe your available choices. All right, Charlie Nelson is the CEO of Retirement and Employee Benefits at Voya. Uh, great to talk with you. Hope you're staying safe and healthy, and we'll talk soon. Thank you, guys. Take care. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.